Chip Sattler and I'm Dwayne's wife and our son Sean and um, we've been married almost 24 years now and farming and ranching is in our blood and we love it. My grandfather purchased the place probably in 1890 something and then dad took over and then I bought the place from our parents in 83. Kim does a lot of the work here too. She's running combines and he was a good teacher. He taught me everything I know. <laughs> but we have black Angus cattle and we raise wheat and corn. We have a good life here and we want to probably ranch a few more years before we retire. It was April 19th and Dwayne had hooked up the stock trailer to the pickup because we were going to go to Jamestown to get an auger. But then I checked the road report because I was kind of worried about the roads and it was green. The whole state was green. So I thought, oh, okay, it's okay. We got on the interstate. We only got about three or four miles, and then all of a sudden the trailer was going like this. And then Dwayne said, oh no, we were heading right into the median. Next thing I remember is um, hearing voices in the distance like, you know, is anybody in the pickup, or, you know, help this person, you know. Then I woke up and I realized, you know, I was hanging upside down in the seat belt, and both my legs were pinned, and my head was pinned too. And I had no idea what happened to Sean and Dwayne because they were nowhere to be seen. So they were both ejected from the vehicle. The young girl that saved me, she came and gave CPR out there. And um, she said it did, what, four or five, five rounds before I even got a heartbeat. To have that much confidence at 17 years old, I mean, we're, just, we're still just in awe of her. I only had minor injuries. I didn't have any broken bones. Sean, they found him just laying on the interstate. He had 18 broken ribs and then a shattered elbow. And, um, but ba basically, Dwayne had the, the worst of it. <laughs> I think I had 11 fractures in my spine, two in my hangman, and um, my hip was out, jaw was broke. Both arms got hurt, but I don't know. They had numerous things. Um, yeah, my teeth were all pushed around. All three of us were taken to the Dickinson Hospital and then from there, they air ambulance Sean to Bismarck, and then he stayed in Bismarck. And then I got a call from a doctor in Bismarck basically telling me that there wasn't much hope for Dwayne, that he probably's not gonna make it. And um, so then I, I pretty much lost it after that because I lost my first family in a car accident. I thought, this can't happen again, you know, it just can't happen. And then Dwayne was air ambulance from Bismarck to Fargo. I don't remember the first 10 days in the hospital at all, hardly, very, very little. And otherwise, it was another 50-some days. Now they were surprised that I was walking. You were very confused about even where you were most of the time, but you knew that the farm was in good hands yeah. because of all the neighbors right. pitching in and stuff. And we're just thankful for Farm Rescue. We never ever thought we'd ever use it. <laughs> I think my sister reached out to you guys, and different neighbors reached out to you first. Then after we got home, then I started getting the paperwork ready to ask for harvest assistance. So, and we're so grateful that they, they came out. We're not real big farmers. We only have 250 acres of wheat, but they probably did about 150. Really easy to talk to, and they knew what they were doing and stuff, and things were good. You sit around the house and you know all these things that need to be done. I guess you just can't do them. It pulls a lot of people through. For us, it did anyway. I think it's an amazing organization and I'm sure that Farm Rescue has offered countless people help and I'm just very happy that there is something like that out there. When I seen the combine and the semi come in, it's just like, I just <laughs> breathe the sigh of relief. It was just like, the Calvary's here, you know. When there's help available, reach out for help even though it's hard because it'll just be peace of mind for you to get your harvest done or whatever you need to be done. So maybe when I retire, maybe I'll do some farm rescue for somebody. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Pay it forward, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for help and thank you for my family. Thank you so much and you guys are incredible and we're very grateful for you.